back then being a 16 year old kid and seeing your photograph published in a print magazine was mind blowing, inspiring. And just like you're on cloud nine, right? You're a kid, you're 16, right? Think about it. Hearing your song on the radio the first time. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Just like hearing your song on the radio for the first time. My name is Jay Blakesburg, and I am a photographer based in San Francisco, California. I started taking pictures in high school, 1977, 78, started borrowing my dad's camera, built a dark room in my mother's basement. We were blues nuts. We wanted to go see Muddy Waters and Johnny Winter and, you know, the Grateful Dead and, and the Almond Brothers. And so I started bringing my camera. I did shot this really amazing show two, three weeks after I graduated from high school. And uh, that was Muddy Waters, Johnny Winter, James Cotton, and B.B. King, like the legends of the blues. I shot maybe a roll of film, got a couple of really good shots, but I got this one iconic shot of the four of them together. And about four or five years ago, right before Johnny Winter passed away, they put out a box set and they used one of those photos in the box set. So, you know, I was really starting to capture pop culture history as a teenager without really realizing it. One day, 30 years ago, my phone rang and it was Jody Peckman at Rolling Stone. She said, hey Jay, it's Jody from Rolling Stone. I have your big break. Every photographer has a different style, right? And so when I'm shooting live music, my style has always been to be up close and to be shooting with wide lenses. I always wanted to be like right in their faces and in the action because I felt like that's where all the energy was. I still get turned on by getting the great shot. If I'm at a show and I'm not shooting, all I see is photographs that I'm missing. To me, I get the feeling that Jay always just follows his muse. A lot of people tend to copy, and it seems like he always has his own vision. True, authentic rock and roll photography. Because I was a fan first, without, at first, without even knowing that I was a fan. My show at the Harvey Milk Photo Center has 130 prints hanging. Portraits of Tom Waits, portraits of the Grateful Dead, portraits of Neil Young, portraits of Joni Mitchell. But then also I wanted to show new stuff, and so some of the really big Chromalux aluminum prints, the, the 36 by 36s and the 30 by 38s, they're all shot on film. And, and these dye sublimation prints are just so poppy. These things on aluminum really pop. It sparkles, they just pop out. And at first I was a little bit skeptical, but after I saw the prints and saw how sharp they were and saw the detail, you know, my fears were, were, uh, were gone. Well, they're excellent, top quality, it's oh, they're really bright. And the nice thing about aluminum is that it's actually gonna last for a long time and you can hand this type of um, vehicle down to your family and it can become almost a family heirloom, you know? Yeah, it's one of my favorite ways to print photos. From the luminescence of it to the way it just draws out the color as well as facial features and detail. So 30 years out from my first assignment and, and almost 40 years out, really, you know, 40 years out from when I first started taking pictures, I think that I can look back and be very, very proud of myself. Like one man, one camera, one lens, a couple of million of images. You know, I'm, I'm always trying new things and experimenting, and but I'm hoping that this is just the first time that I get to do an exhibit with, you know, these incredible dye sublimation chromalux aluminum prints. <laughs>